Good day, everybody. Well, I was mowing, and Cubby finally let me down. Uh, I was making a terrible kind of grindy noise as I was moving around, even in neutral or in drive. It would start to make the noise, and then if I tapped the clutch brake pedal, it would go away, but it would come on sometimes sitting still or sometimes driving. It would just make this terrible noise. So pulled the deck off and slid underneath, and this is what I found. Right here, this pulley is completely worn out. This, uh, the back side of the belt runs on this, and all in here, it's totally worn out. This side's good, so it just would hit that bad spot and just make terrible noise. So I'm gonna pull that out, I'm gonna change the drive belt while I'm at it, and, uh, we're at 200 hours, so I can do the 200 hour service. This is gonna be in here for a little bit. Good evening, shop cats. I've had an interesting day. Um, feel like I have a bit of a mild cold and it turns out I've tested positive for COVID-19. Yay! So on the one hand that means five mandatory days off from work. I'm not as thrilled about that as I maybe once was. Actually work's been really enjoyable lately but I can't go. So uh, I guess that means a little bit more time maybe in here. If I have the energy uh, I do feel kind of draggy but it kind of comes and goes and there's certainly no shortage of things to do in here. I know that my employer doesn't take kindly to me filming releasing videos when I'm off sick but uh, I mean honestly if I was allowed I'd be at work. So I'm just going to be sleeping in the tent trailer so that Laura doesn't get sick and uh, just kicking it out here as best I can. Uh, there's lots to do out here. The Cub Kaput needs its 200 hour service. Still waiting for parts at the moment for the belt drive. Um, but at least if I get the rest of the work done, then we're that much further ahead. As well, uh, another friend from work <clears throat> gave me two of these actually. Little 12 inch Craftsman chainsaws. The other one is more of a parts machine and has... Uh, 16 inch bar so I'll be swapping that over and just working to get this one fired up. Yesterday it uh, didn't want to I think it was really flooded and actually hydraulicing but got it cleared out now no plug in it so uh, hopefully I can get it running fairly easily and um, rather unfortunately recently we had one of my best friends uh, and his family over and uh, I was probably positive for COVID then, so fingers crossed that they don't get sick. Um, we did hang out outside mostly, so hopefully it's okay. But he brought me a gift that I think is pretty amazing. Uh, he's watched me, giddy, no fighting, watched me struggle on occasion with putting small amounts of uh, fuel in the places that they need to go. And so, he made me a custom Dr. Pepper bottle fuel squirter. How awesome is that? So that you'll get to see in lots of upcoming videos. So thank you, Dan. It's amazing. I love it. So with that, um, I think I'm going to start on the Cub Cadet because that's kind of the priority. Move some stuff around, get it wheeled out and start on that 200 hour service, which is essentially spark plug, um, oil change, greasing, you know, just kind of going over it, but also a valve lash check slash adjustment. And, uh, you know, of course, Cub Cadet says, take it to your dealer. Well, I'm the dealer. It's a one cylinder. It has two valves. I think it will be okay. Well, it would seem I don't have the strength to pull the skin off a of pudding today, but uh, keep going. 
oil change on this, uh, get rid of this Fram. I'm not a fan of Fram filters, but it's what was available. And uh, sharp eyes might notice that this is a Fram PH3614. That is not technically the correct filter for this application. It did fit our old 2010 Chrysler Town & Country which was convenient to have the same filter on both because it just fits right on there and actually provides a little bit larger filter than the stock Kohler one which is only about that tall. So I used it. It's gonna make a mess for me. I think it's gonna stay clean. Oh there we go. There's the mess. Yeehaw. Well, it's not that bad, actually. Oh, that shouldn't go in there. That sucks. That's the remote for my Bluetooth control for the camera. <laughs> in the oil, just the strap, actually, but still. I am going to replace it with another 3614, but this time the Motomaster OE Plus equivalent. Uh, yeah. That's better. Just took a moment to clean up all the gigantic mess I was making. So, for oil, I'm using Mobile One 10W30. Not necessarily because the tractor needs Mobile One, but because I bought a whole bunch of it on sale when we still had that town and country, and that's what it used. So I've got all this 10W30 left. Ooh, it is a brand new jug. Fancy. these OE Plus filters. There's some confusion. If you go to Canadian Tires, you know, site, and you look these up, there's people saying they're made by Fram and quite insistent that they're made by Fram. They're not made by Fram. They're made by Champ Laboratories, which is the same parent company of Luberfiner filters, which explains why these seem to be pretty reasonable quality. So I'm basically using these on almost everything. So that's done, and I'm going to drain the oil straight into an old jug. What's in there? Ugh, I don't know what's in there already, but it's nasty. Ooh, that's not how that's supposed to come off. Just as effective though, I guess. So, they're nice enough to give us a little clip to hold the hose up, and a little hose for draining. So that's actually really convenient. Yeah, this one's metric this one standard but it's okay it'll be all right there we go let that do its thing in the meantime i'm going to pull off the top cover and the air filter so we can get to the front and do the uh valve adjustment. Because they're cheap, 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 I'm going to pull the spark plug out. Cheap, 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 cheap. Literally like seven dollars for two. changing it twice as often as I need to. Looks like that's running quite well. Really no issues there. And we need to get the valve cover off. Stay up there so don't lose it. dirt falling in the into there if I can help it but now the cub kaput has COVID sorry cubby
start. Mm. There we go, starting to come off. Looks like we might have a bit of fun getting the gasket off. Yay! expect that rather than using a gasket that's siliconed in <laughs> it seems less fun And there's our valves. So we're going to rotate our engine until we're at top dead center, which uh, essentially means both valves are going to be sloppy, and uh, they sure are. So you can even determine top dead center with right there. There's our piston at top dead center, and that'll be the compression stroke. It's probably somewhere a timing mark on it. But we know we're there. Certainly close enough to check our valve lash. Which, uh, uh, I don't know. Might be within spec. Well, this ends day one. Just me and Mr. Stratton here in the trailer. Can't even see him, it's too dark, but uh, didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but just ran out of steam. So, going to, uh, I don't know, maybe watch some Obi Wan Kenobi or something and uh, hit the hay. So, good night. Keep it in the litter box. Cheers.